Good morning, everyone. So yesterday I had a client walk in and ask me some questions about old technology. Um, and they were going back to the days of like 95 and 98 and a little bit before that. Um, and they were talking about um, if I could do data recovery from old floppy disks. Um, the answer is yes and no. Um, so let me show you this. This is not, let me repeat, this is not a physical icon of the save button. This is actually a floppy disk. This is the three and a half, you know, um, this is the hard case ones. Um, we can actually do data recovery off of these. Um, but what he was talking about was the five and a quarter ones. Um, and I don't have any of those. Um, that technology died a long time ago. Um, but if you needed to know what a five and a quarter one is, you can type into Google 5.25 inch floppy disk and it'll show you, um, you know, a five and a quarter inch disk. And then the way we do that is Windows 10 itself does not have um, a drive, floppy disk drive uh, protocols built into it. So if you upgraded from like Windows XP to Vista to 7 and then up to 10, you may have noticed you've lost your A drive. I have seen a computer where it shows the drive in the drive list, uh, but you put a disk in and it doesn't work. The only way to do it now is uh, with one of these devices. This is a USB to floppy disk um, disk drive, and that will work on Windows 10. So if you have a whole bunch of these and you need me to do data recovery, I can do that. The The bad part to that is, is these have a limited life lifespan. Um, you know, they were never designed to be, you know, like a flash drive. And I tell people this all the time. These do have a lifespan, um, depending upon how much you're using them. I tell people to replace them every year. Um, if you only use it, you know, like once a month for a data backup for your computer, then you can probably get two, three, four years out of it. But if you're using these constantly, for transferring data from like the office to your accountant or whatever. Yeah, replace these every year. Um, but these do have a lifespan. They do die. Um, just sitting in a drawer, they'll go bad um, because the magnetics on these are not that strong. And every little magnet that it comes in or magnetic field that comes in contact slowly deteriorates it. And yeah, they will die few years back I had, and the reason why we ended up getting that is a few years back I had a client who brought me like 400 discs and said, can you get everything off of them? I'll try. Uh, it turned out about 25% of their discs had died because they hadn't used them in so long the magnetics had worn out and it was just unrecoverable. So yeah, they do die. So if you've got old floppy discs that you need me to look at, I've got the capability of doing it. Um, hopefully they have not died. Um, but if they have, there's there's nothing I can do with it. There's no amount of data recovery that can get that back. It's just, you know, wear and tear or inactivity. Magnetics just went away. So, but yeah, we do have the capability of doing diskettes. If need be, um, just bring them over. Give us a call first. Schedule an appointment. Or if you want me to come out there, you know, call. Tell me where you're at. I'll come get them and take a look at them. And I will do the best I can with them. Like I said, diskettes are, they die. So, but yeah, I hang on to this, you know, this way when my grandson grows up and gets a little bit over, I can say, hey, I got a physical icon of a save button. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, if you've got those type of drives, I can certainly uh, take a look at them and see what I can do with them. Uh, but yeah, uh, the other thing is, is uh, the, the other question he was asking me was um, for that particular computer that went back to like the day early 95 computer. Um, can we do a hard drive recovery off of it to extract? It really depends on the connection. Um, if it's a 40 pin wide gray ribbon, we can do that. If it is a 50 pin SCSI, nope. If it is a, there's another one out there. I think it's a 34 pin um, one. Um, that's This is the time before the IDE cables became standard. Um, so there's a couple of variations in there. It just really depends on the hard drive connection. If it's a 40 pin IDE, we can do it. If it's any other pin connector connection, we can't. So anyways, 
Hope you found that insightful and enlightening. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, there's that thumbs up down here. I got to remember, I got to point this way for it because it's in reverse. Um, just below the video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you didn't like it, it's okay. There's a share button. Click that share button. It gives you the options for Facebook and all the other places. Share it with your friends and family. Or if you're seeing this on Facebook, you can share it through Facebook. Um, subscribe if you can, please hit the bell so you get the notifications because I don't get paid from YouTube for this. That's why it says donate. Under the video, there's that little caption. It says see more. Click it. It shows you all the other links that you need to know. So like I said, there's our Facebook. There's a phone number. Call us if you need us. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later.